Welcome back, Sethling here, and today we're doing some more Mario the Gathering playtesting. Uh, we drafted a sweet green-white mid-range deck a couple of videos ago, and then the last video we trounced a red-green aggro deck. Uh, today I'm going to be playing against Ruben, who I don't know what he's drafted, but uh, hello Ruben, welcome to, the, welcome to the stream, welcome to the video. Hello. All right. Uh, yeah, so this is Mario the Gathering, this is my th custom 360 card mario themed draft cube if you don't know what this whole project's about there's a link in the description to the first video in the series and it sort of explains the project uh there's also a link in the description to instructions for how to install all of this for yourself how to find the discord and play this against other people um but yeah are you ready to start i'm ready cool here we go oh thank you for the 100 bits psycheus yeah i am live streaming this as we play so control i rolls a die oh my god i want a die roll <laughs> This never happens. Yay. I don't know what to do. I'll play. I'll, I'll play okay. first. And, uh, yikes. I don't think I can keep this. All right, I'm going to mulligan. I'm going to keep. Okay. Um. All right. I'll keep this. All right. Oh, I meant to take the. I don't know why this is main decked. I didn't mean to keep this in my main deck. All right, well, I guess I can bottom this. Hopefully I draw a forest for Archivist Toadette. God, I'm never going to have anything to play. I guess I can spawn on turn one. All right, I'm putting a card on bottom. Here is... I will spawn Goombas. All right. And I'm done. So spawn is this ability that you can read about, read the card right here. Let's mimic a 1-1 one, one, and then I can still I'm cast Goombas. Tapped West Bulls. Still cast Goomboss later from Exile, Lost Pools, and tap. Okay. All right, here's all that glitters on my minion. Okay. He is a 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. I will attack with my 2-2. Two -two. Sure, I'll take 2. And you go to 18. I'm done. <laughs> God, this is going to be the most powerful. It's going to be a 6-6 six -six once I cast three balloons on him and infinity turns if i draw a forest i can cast goombas hmm. i'm gonna play an island okay and for two here's two turtles i already can't attack with my minion okay you get a one one every yeah. time you cast a vehicle all right i'm done Oof. I do have nine draws, uh, or nine cards in the deck, so it's like a one in three to get a forest. Like a, a green There's deck. a face down card. All right, face down, two, two card. So this is a card with spook. In my set, everything that can be cast face down has spook. And there is one card that has morph as well as spook. All right. All right. Done. All right. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm winning this game. So well, maybe I should get that first hand. Okay. And we'll get to see, we'll get to see what's going on with my opponent's sweet vehicle spook deck. Here's another face on card. All right. Green Yoshi will power up my minion. It'll be a 3-3. Three, three. So I'll have two 3-3s three, if I can cast it. All right, so you're done. Here's a planes. Pass turn. Like, he knows that. Going back to Mono White. Yeah, back to Mono White, exactly. Oh, man, the Mono White dream. I'm living it right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think he should be attacking in with these two twos. You might think that I don't have like a combat trick. Flower. Flower, alright. Getting a basic forest or planes and putting it into your hand. Yeah. Sure. Uh, so. Uh, there's a forest. Sure. Uh, tapped, right? Oh, okay. uh, in my hand. No, it's okay. in your hand, yeah. 
He's going to Mayhem. Could he be playing the puzzle mm. level deck? He's got a vehicle face down creature. I guess that isn't a minion token. Okay. But he's got four and colors. Plus. He's got four basic land colors too. All right. <laughs> I mean, I can cast this. He's not doing anything though. <laughs> I really think he should be attacking in with these. Even if I have a trick, it's worth trading. I guess I can use this to get a green, uh, to, I could just, just use it to get a treasure. <laughs> that is something it does. I could like exile one of the things and then if it happens to be like a non, non-permanent, I can sacrifice Turnabic to get a treasure and it won't come back. All right, I'll do that. I'm willing to play this just to try and get a treasure. All right, here's Turnabric. Into, sorry. Uh, targeting what? All right. Uh, first of all, this minion is a three-three, uh, oh, and I will okay. target yeah. this one. Okay, so it gets exiled, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah, I guess you can reveal it and attach it to turn to brick. Okay, uh, in response, I will tap it to crew chip charger. Okay. Uh, so two, two. And uh, oh, you're gonna reveal it. All right, sure. I'll it's a boo ring. Uh, turn over, and then it's a boo ring. Rats. All right. All right. I think I. I think I gave control of it to. You. I don't know. Maybe not. Okay. Uh. Cool. I'm done. Right. Well, at least it made my minion 3-3. Three, three. Uh, I guess if I sack it to get a treasure, I also get... It's, it's still a 3-3. Three, three. Just need to make sure I don't do it with two damage marked on the minion. Because it will momentarily uh, be a 2-2 two, two between sacrificing turn to break it. The plane's then on top. Anyway. Well, um... Here's a gold trophy. Sure. Draw a card. Gold trophy and this battlefield draw card, and then it filters yeah, for a white or black. I've been seeing everything but red here. All right. My turn. Oh man. Well, I mean, I can cast off the treasure. I can cast three balloons or pr Princess Rosalina. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Oh, my cat's next to me. Got startled by me. Kind of letting my hand fall to the de desk a little bit too hard. Uh, I think I just do nothing. My opponent can't really attack into my 3-3. Three, three. All right, I'm done. You can go. All right. Drawing the green half of my deck and only planes. It's a pretty interesting game plan. Another swamp. Yeah. Uh, actually... Oh, I did make hmm. the art around Princess Rosalina kind of go off the... Around, I'm the going board. to spawn Buster Jr. Sure. Oh my god, and this is totally a puzzle level. Play two. Alright, so you have a vehicle, yeah. you have a minion token, you have a face-down creature. And you uh, have four yeah. colors. I'm not right. an architect. I don't have a super... Oh, no super. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, oh. uh, we were we were all in my head. We were all living the dream. All right. <laughs> all right, I'm done. Wow. Your turn. I mean, I have to say it's all going very well just because you can't do anything. At yeah, all. that's pretty sweet. I'm attacking with my minion. All right, I'll take one. I'll go to 19. <laughs> I'm still winning. 19 to 18. All right, uh, fully expecting this to get countered. Uh, Toad Brigade. Hmm. No, it doesn't. All right, I make a Toad. Uh, I'm done. What? Hmm. 
Bowser Jr. used to be a 2-2 two -two for 2. Now it's a 2-3 three for 3, which does actually block these guys pretty well. Um, if I can get another land putting, like, All right. putting uh, 3 so... blocks on Toad Brigade doesn't seem the worst. Then I can, like, the turn after, I can start getting in with Princess Rosalina. I mean, he's probably got to have a removal spell for Toad Brigade. Hmm. Blue black. This is awkward. Uh, I won't do anything. <laughs> All right. This is a great game. This is a great game of it magic. Is... Oh, my God. Top secret area. View top four cards of library. Oh. You have a green source now. All right. Move to bottom of library in random order. That's fine. All right. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? Too many things to do I now. think... Uh, what happens if I cast Green Yoshi targeting Toad Brigade and, and then Toad Brigade dies? Does Green Yoshi um, still come in as a creature? I think there's like a special rule around Bestow that like it does, but I don't remember. I'm kind of asking my Twitch chat right now. Because I think that's the play, if so... Um, cause then even if he has removal, I, I still like kind of survive. Yeah. And it has a creature. Okay. It's not when falling it off. Uh, it becomes a creature spell. Interesting. Huh. Okay. All right. Let's play green Yoshi targeting toad brigade as an aura. Boop. Uh, Any responses? No. I've been told by Twitch chat that if toad brigade dies in response to this green Yoshi becomes a creature spell. Uh, I have no answer. Okay. Let's attach. And Toad Brigade is a 5-5. Five five. Yeah. I will enter my start combat and attack. Yeah, let's attack with Toad Brigade. Uh, block with a fish. You got it. And I'm done. Oh my god, I'm doing things. So now Princess Rosalina next turn seems pretty <clears> fine. <throat> I can like attack with a 5-5 five five Flying Vigil. Here's some nice one. Life Linker. Indestructible. <laughs> Okay. And I'll tap my planes to play Super Crown. Okay. On Boxer Jr. You got it. So now it has Life Link. Uh, sure does. And, and Super. super. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. You just put a Super Crown on, on Bowser Jr. <laughs> Nothing, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> no one Google that. <laughs> Alright, you're done. Alright, my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw, main. Uh, ooh. Man, one more land that I could play and equip this. That could be pretty sweet. I think I just played Princess Rosalina here. I think I think it's time. Alright, here's Princess Rosalina. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, what does that do? What so the... Starts with five loyalty, plus one is up to one target creature gains flying lifelink, vigilance, and indestructible until end of turn. Minus two is exile uh. target creature until Princess Rosalina leaves the battlefield. And minus seven is I get seven one one flying indestructible creatures. Oh, we do have a uh. counter spell. I, I, I don't like that. I'm just gonna credit ah, warp. Ah, credit warp, sure. So credit warp, uh, since you have architect, you have an enchantment. You just got an enchantment down. Yeah. I thought you might be getting architect with that super crown. Because it seemed like a weird play. <laughs> uh, you have an enchantment, an artifact, and a creature. So that will end the turn immediately. Any spells that are on the stack get exiled, including Credits Warp. And the turn is over. No attacks for me. Darn. Well, Poltergust could still be good. Oh my god. I can, uh, like... There's a swamp. Oh, I guess Poltergust isn't even that good, because you can just tap whatever to crew cheap charger. So it's just kind of a plus two, plus two. It's not that good. I probably won't be playing it. All right. I mean, yeah, later on maybe. I think I could play three balloons here, though. No, I think I want to play Archivist Toadette and... Oh, God. I still only have one green source. Well, here's another planes. Mm. Yeah, so I can only play one spell this turn. Three balloons is the most efficient use of my mana, but... If I played on something that could be bounced, I like potentially lose out of value. Whereas like waiting to play it on Archivist, Archivist Toadette could be great. 
think I do just want to play Archivist Toad at this turn. I don't know, maybe that's a little slow, but... Alright, uh, I'll start combat. And I'll attack. With 5-5. Five, five. Oh, wait. Uh, hold on. I don't think all the glitters is up to date. It should be... This guy should be a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. That's right. Of course, he shrinks if he, like, blocks my Toad Brigade. Although Green Yoshi won't actually leave the battlefield. So actually, that's not true. Yeah, I'll attack with the 4-4, four, four, too. I'm going to take 9. Okay. So I'm going not to 9. Post-combat, here's Archivist Toadette. Sure. And I gain a life. Back to 20. Done. Yay. All right, so he's just been flooding out super hard, I guess. Basically. What could go wrong? I don't know if he's missed a land drop. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I don't think so. Uh, yeah. yeah, I bet he still has a couple lands in hand. Uh, okay. I spawn. Put them in this hole. Okay. Uh, uh, bottomless hole is called bottomless hole because bottomless pit is already so... a magic card, and I don't want to print a card with the same name as a real magic card, unless it's a real. Um, magic card. That makes sense. Yeah, if you cast that, I'm not that sad about it. Uh, I just sacrificed this fungus, I think. Oh. Uh... Spawn Protoperana. Okay. Don't really have any evasion, unfortunately. And... That's it. Okay. It's worth noting Bottomless Hole is an instant. Draw... So I can cast this Hungry Luma to steal one of these. Um, and I can still cast, like, either Poltergeist or Heroes Calling on as well. Um, it would give me evasion. I think I want to cast three balloons this turn, but if I'm going to do that, I should cast Heroes Calling first. Because I might get something else I want. All right, let's start off with Heroes Calling. Yeah. So I reveal the top five cards in my library. Uh, let's see. There are two cards with super and no yeah. auras. So I can get either Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker, or Justice Toad. Seems like you're not really limited on mana. I will take Captain Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker into my hand. Sure. So I have to do it this way. So that goes here, and then the rest go on the bottom in a random order. I think I want to just wait to cast Captain Toad, so I'm, I am going to cast the three balloons this turn. All right, uh, here's three balloons. I will target All right. Archivist Toadette. Okay. Result? Yeah. Okay, so minion becomes 5-5. Five, five. Archivist Toadette, also 5-5 five, five five with five. three plus one plus one counters and extra hits. Yep. Yeah. Let's attack. Hmm. Uh, I'll block this and this. Okay. All right. Uh, so I lose a counter uh, from Archive Studio. From Archive Studio. Yeah. I'm done. I just realized that he didn't cast Proto Perona. Oh my god. But I think he had the mana too. I think I have to do it. I'll pay two for Night's Whisper. Okay. Oh man, this Hungry Luma's looking pretty hungry. <laughs> no way to give her haste though. Hmm. He does have Lifelink on his Bowser Jr. Though. Okay. 
This is getting interesting. Yeah. So, Ruben apparently is not doing the puzzle of the thing. Let me see how much money was on it. I'll pay three okay. for shooting star. All right, you get a one one flyer along with that. All right, that kind of and a happens. fish and a fish kind of damage the hungry luma plan. Although poltergeist and hungry luma is still, still and good. why not? I'm also going to spawn King Bob. Oh, I thought this might happen. I don't have an image for King Bob. Luckily, I have it memorized. Also, there's a description over here. Nope, neither. Huh. It's because he's capitalized. Uh, huh. I'm oh, sure okay. You... Yeah. Surprise. I also, it also doesn't have like the minion attached. All right. So you just spawned in, right? Yeah. 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 So what happened is I changed the capitalization, but like I forgot to. Exp anyway, there's technical issues. Anyway, King Bobomb is a three-three that says. When you sacrifice King Babam, it deals three damage to target opponents, and you draw three cards. Exactly. And has fun. Pretty and fun then I'll turn here. All right. He's got four mana up still. What's going on here? All right. Untap, keep, draw. <laughs> still only one green source. Uh, I think I play Hungry Luma and Poltergust this turn. But I want to attack first with just everything uh and i guess i play poltergust before combat because it uh pumps up my minion by one all right here's poltergust hmm. and like makes this minion a six six let's see i don't Oh. I don't like this. <laughs> so I could no, just attach it right now God. and just like have all uh, the power. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's fine. I don't think that's what I want to do though. Well, he can make another one one. Maybe I do. No, Hungry Luma to get King Babam out of the exile, I think is good. Alright, I'll attack with uh, Oh sorry. One second. Uh I'll Poltergeist, my... can you keep it during combat? Sorry? Can you keep Poltergeist during combat? No, equip only happens at sorcery speed. Okay. Well, then at start combat phase. Oh, start combat, yep. Okay. I'll play Invisible Block yep. and I'll tap the minion. Okay. All right. May I now attack? So invisible block needs yeah. to tap target creature when it enters the battlefield. And he has architect, so he can loot with it too. Alright. Oh, I'll attack with the other two super creatures. The other two. Okay. Uh... Maybe I shouldn't even be attacking with Archivist Todet. Because it's just losing counters, for trading for one. I don't know. I gotta get through his 1-1s one some way. <laughs> I'll just block with the fish and the elemental. Okay. Okay, so that loses a counter. So 3-3. Three, three. And your two creatures die. Ooh, the elemental blocked? Weird. Okay. Alright, uh, post-combat, here's Hungry Luma. Sure. When she enters the battlefield, King Babom shall get put into your graveyard. Ah. And I'm done. So this Hungry Luma is lethal right now. You just need to make sure not to block Shooting Star. Oh, I forgot I had this Goombas exiled. <laughs> Whatever, I've been tapping out of green every turn. I don't think it really matters. Yeah, even if he attacks with... I think next turn I just only attack right. with Hungry Luma, uh, if, if nothing changes. Wait, so they can't lifelink. No, uh, I'm going to tap in this little block. Yeah. I'll draw a card. So yeah, he gets the loot since he has... And then discard a card, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, surprisingly, surprisingly interesting game away. how it started. Okay. Wow. Discarding Spirited Away. And then for two... 
here's the gold standard. Okay. Uh, I think you get a you can get a fish if you want. It. Oh yeah, sure. Thank you yeah. very much. Yeah, off a cheap charger. Okay. Yeah. All right. Is there something I'm not seeing? Like discarding. God, another plane. Discarding spirited away when it can answer the lethal creature. Like I feel like there's no way this this creature gets in for lethal. I think maybe I try to equip it to Hungry Luma and attack. That way I can still attack in with some of these other guys. Even like even, Hungry Luma will deal lifelink or lethal through lifelink. And then I can cast Coin Coffer pre combat as well. Or probably actually Goombas. No, Coin Coffer pumps the minion. I don't think it matters actually. Yeah, let's cast Goomba. I guess I don't need to cast it pre-combat then. Yeah, I think equipping pre-combat might draw out the removal too. All right, I'm gonna equip Poltergust to Hungry Luma. Oh my god, this guy's flying. Oh no, did you not notice? Well, uh, I think I couldn't do anything anyway. Uh, you discarded Spirited away. Oh, that's right. Okay. <laughs> well, All right, I, so I, I was I, wondering why you discarded Spirited Away. I guess you just didn't see that it had flying. That's also... Well, yeah. not nah, right. Okay. Anyway, nah, the reason is... Yes, oh, I you do have Puzzle Bangle. I, I, I needed a red source. Okay. Uh, oh, you had and Super Crown. You did have Super. Yeah, I had everything. You had everything. You had the face down, the minion, the Super. You had Architect. Oh my god. Like for for many rounds, and I had Puzzle Lever for many rounds, I didn't have red. Oh. And Gold Standard gave me a treasure. I'm so sad for you. You didn't get the red. Yeah. Well, it's so many pieces. <laughs> yeah, it is a lot of pieces. Oh, the Gold Standard, too, was going to be able to get it to you. Yeah. You just that, needed one more why, turn. That's why I discarded Spirit Away and yeah. not Gold Standard. Yeah. That kind of makes sense. Oh my god. And the reason I didn't use Invisible Block the first turn I could is because Puzzle Level was the only card in my hand. So okay. You're just like I, the the effect wouldn't be able to do anything. Yeah, it would just like put a card in your graveyard, basically. Yeah. yeah, and I don't think there's there's probably not much in your deck that would like yeah. use a card in your graveyard. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And like, yeah, you do have a limited number of draws left. Oh my god, man! The way that game started is, <laughs> I did not think I was yeah. gonna win. Uh, I like obviously that was. You know, you just didn't notice the flying on the card. Yeah. All right, let me take a look at my <laughs> my sideboard here. Yeah, same for me. All right, Built to Last comes back out. <laughs> yeah, that card is not supposed to be a main deck. All right, so he has a few vehicles, but he also has, like, the vehicles aren't that impactful. I guess they provide a lot of blockers, like... Since Sand Trap doesn't really hit that many, like it, I didn't really see any creature with the power four or greater either. I don't think I'm gonna bring in Sand Trap. I don't think Ron Castle makes any sense. Brick and Mortar, also not really. Like he, his creatures just weren't anything to write home about. I should be able to like crush him in a, in a like, normal game. I think with just like in combat. Hmm. I think I bring in Tanuki Soup. I think I need the evasion. He has a lot of like minion generators and stuff. And I can take out um, maybe Trophy Ceremony, because like I'm not really getting I wasn't really getting pressure on life. God, I'm so sad that he didn't get to play puzzle level. I think turn brick is fine. Three balloons is maybe not good. He's got a lot of chump blockers. Yeah, let's take out three balloons and not trophy ceremony. Drop that curve down a little bit. I think that's, I think that's probably good. I think it's probably all I want to do. Mm. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Ah, I'm ready to 
Oh wait, oh wait, hold on. Uh, let's go back to sideboarding. I have 39 cards in my deck. <laughs> uh, yeah, oops. Okay, yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, would you like to play or draw? Uh, draw. Okay. I will keep this. I will keep. All right, let me think for a sec. So I can play Heroes Calling on one if I want. I don't have any three drops, so I think that might make sense. Like I'll, I'll have my third turn to play Kingdom's Grove. Yeah, I think I want to play Heroes Calling on one. All right, I'll play Heroes Calling. Uh -huh. All right, so let's reveal top cards to all players. So I my options are All the Glitters, Archivist Toadette, and Toad Brigade. That is a lot of options. That's a lot of options. All the Glitters Too is kind of sweet with Coin Coffer. I think I need another creature, though. I think Toad Brigade might be good. Yeah, I think I want Toad Brigade here. I don't have the fourth lane to play it, but I'll draw one eventually, right? All right, I will take Toad Brigade. Huh. And we're done. Huh. So it's, the plan is next turn, Coin Coffer, turn after that, Kingdom's Grove, and just nothing. And then There's turn after that. Okay. Uh, that's it. Oops. Oh, what? What was it? Can I? Do you want to spawn something? Yeah. I yeah, was just I commenting spawn. no spawns to my chat <laughs> or to the viewers. Yeah. Uh, sure. Yeah. There's. I was surprised. Bottomless. All right. Bottomless hole. So this can kill a creature, uh, but I guess I'm fine with him killing Coin Coffer. All right. So here is Coin Coffer. Done. Uh -huh. Yeah, so you can cast this this turn if he wants, and he sacrifices the minion, and I sacrifice Coin Coffer. That's fine. And if he waits, like I'll have Toad Brigade, uh, and it'll planes. like make a two-two that I can sack or whatever. So well, I guess next turn I can activate and, Coin Coffer. And okay, untap, keep, draw. Here's Kingdoms Groves. All right. And I will pass the turn. Uh, I will play Shine Upon. Targeting Coin Coffer? Coin Coffer. All right, in response, I'll draw. In response, I'll create a trader token. Uh, Still done. Yeah. So now I can play like three balloons next turn. Man, all the glitters would have given plus three, plus three. Hmm. I think I was right to bin it though. Shine Upon says tap target creature if it's face down. Look at it. Draw Here's a card. face down card. Yep. I'll attack with a minion. 19. Okay. All right. Well, here's Toad Brigade. Right. I think your lands are supposed to be tapped, but that's fine. I'm done. Yeah, I don't really want to attack into the 2-2, two -two, I don't think. Well, maybe I should have just cleared the way for these guys. Yeah, for the sun. Okay. And... I guess if he does attack. Actually, no, if he attacks, I'm just going to let it through. This 2 2. Yeah, I should have attacked. I think I should have attacked with Coin Coffer. I don't really need the treasures. I'm not like making a treasure this turn, so. <laughs> yeah, probably next turn, I'm just going to play three balloons on Toad Brigade and swing in with everything. I regret not attacking. Uh, there's a face on card. You got it. 
Okay. So this doesn't really do anything. When it dies, I can exile an enchantment or gain four life. Yeah. All right. So here's three balloons on Toad Brigade. All right. Use a 5-5 five five with three plus one plus one counters. Yeah. I'll attack with everything. And I will block that one. <laughs> sure. And I'll take seven. Okay. Coin Coffer trades with your spook. Uh, okay, wait a second. Okay. I'll also block this one. Oh, sure. But then I'll block both. Okay, yeah. So there's Blue Ring and there's. Frighten the Plumber. Pretty good. Uh, All right. Yeah, Frighten the Plumber is very good against. Oh, we just have a blue mana. But it's very good against. Uh... Sure, my turn. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. yeah. Though, I guess when I replay this, I still get. I don't know. Yeah. It's pretty good, though. I think you're at 15, not 13. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, right. So yeah, I'm probably going to spend this turn replaying Toad Brigade and Mr. Eraser. Oh, I should probably should have just played Mr. Eraser uh, on my treasure. I kind of forgot I had it. I'm going to attack with Minion. Yep. And second main. Here's bottom of the All right. I sacrifice Toad Brigade. You sacrifice a Minion. Yeah. Toad Brigade comes back. I make a 2-2. Exactly. Yeah, still no blue. Um, I'm afraid of the plumber. I'll play. I'll play from Spook. Oh, yep. And that's it. All right. All right. So I will swing in. Both guys. Post combat. Here's a Cataquack. <clears throat> and a Mr. Eraser. My boss. And I'm done. Alright, well. If he has uh -huh. nothing, I'm in good shape, but. Here's a little trophy. Okay. Another one of those uh, cantrips and filters. And here's an island. So now you can cast by the plumber. It's a little late to get back. Okay, there, so now I can start. Oh, he can stuff. bounce my fungus and makes me discard turn to break. That's actually pretty good. Just to know, if I were to attack Blue Ring, uh -huh. and you blocked with something, and I turn it face down, mm -hmm. Then, uh, when it dies, uh, it goes like as a face down creature, right? That's right. It'd be face like, down. I, and I can. It would trigger. Uh, it would trigger the exile clause. Okay. <clears throat> I need to get my cards out of my hand now. <laughs> now that he's got an island. Just cast for just cast turn to break on whatever. I probably boo ring, I guess. Uh, uh, oh I I did play it this turn. No, not this turn. Last turn. So I'll attack with it. Alright, I'll block. Sure, I'll play. And I then nice. Sure, yeah. Or right. I didn't even see if you had that I'll just play it again. <laughs> Sweet play. Whatever. <laughs> All right. How to lose one mana. Yeah. And the ability to... All right. Here's, here's turn to brick. Uh, I'm like really glad you didn't uh, cast Fright the Plumber on my Fungus token. <laughs> that last turn. I mean, not that glad. I mean, it wouldn't have been that big of a deal. 
what is attached to uh, it. I, I, I still. Uh, I don't know. I'll, yeah, sure. All right, and then I'll attack with all my guys. It's like a lot. I can't even count that. Oh uh, wait, at uh, the start combat phase. Oh sure. Oh I yeah, you got it. Play invisible block. Okay. Tap and I'll tap attack block. Yeah, sure. All right, uh, take six. Go to five. Uh, I'm pretty bad, I would I'm say. Done. Okay, next turn. Yeah, whatever. I'm dead. Right, yeah, is that it? Well, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> there's nothing I can. Do. Yeah. First game, it seemed that I could maybe have a chance. Mm -hmm. But it it just too hard to do something with this deck. Yeah. So still really really fun. Yeah, so this, this is, of course, playtesting. It's important to, like, go over things and figure out what happened yeah. and if there's anything that should be changed or notes. Yeah. Um, let's see. So, uh, <laughs> that first game was just silly. I mean, yeah, I think you could have pr probably been a lot more aggressive. I'm not sure it would have changed the outcome, but so you could have been attacking like, a lot more. I, I don't know if I could have, like, won just by attacking you. How long did you so have puzzle level? Uh, mid game, mid game. Okay, yeah, I, and, I was like not was sure why you weren't attacking with the uh, the face down cards in my two twos. Yeah, like, like if I were to draw the mountain, like I had everything, I had super crown since really early, mm. and I had like credits warp with puzzle level. Uh -huh. So if I were to draw a land, I had nine mana, and I could have done puzzle level into credits warp wow. and you had you had like a few red sources because grand star the last resort hotel mountain and then gold standard yeah like I, I had two lands and i believe three artifacts three artifacts really like i had four of the out of the five i have like like painting gave me red grand star oh, it does, gave me yeah. red okay and uh, what's the other one I had? I have four for sure. Well, there's gold standard. Yeah, but like four of the one mana. Oh, oh, uh, uh oh. you only have three, yeah. it looks like. Oh, no, because gold trophy, yeah. I have four, yeah. yeah. Gold trophy, maker, stylus, life, like yeah. blending, and brand star. Yeah. I, someone yeah. in the chat was saying, like, how close I was to having the five one of them. Yeah. Man, it was really sad to see that puzzle level not like not get there. It's cool. I like yeah. that Super Crown yeah. kind of like Yeah. It's I, a I it's a way of including super in your deck that's um just like a, a little bit more value than like having a cre creature with like native yeah. super cuz it like provides protection to that creature that you enchant yeah. with. So um, Also uh hmm. what was Oh yeah, I had puzzle level third pick. You so did first I, pick, really? Yeah, nice. like I could build all my deck from puzzle level. Mm -hmm. it, it was not like a second pack saying, "Oh, maybe I can shift to puzzle mm -hmm. level." Um, so this was my know. first. This was my first time trying out uh, three balloons, I think. And that game, or those both of those games, <laughs> it just like looked a little bit lackluster. I guess I did get to hit you once with three balloons, but like. Yeah. It makes your creature huge, oh. and then you, your opponent just... I don't know, you had, like, a lot of 1-1s. One -ones. <laughs> yeah, I had 1-1s. One -one, so yeah, just for days. I believe for nearly every deck, it's easy to have 1-1s. One -ones. Yeah. Because like, yeah. Architect can have 1-1s. One -ones. Mm -hmm. uh, Spook has 2-2s. Two yeah. It's a little uh, bit better to be trading with, like, 2-2s two that cost 3. Yeah, exactly. Right. So I, I don't mind that as much. Like, if you trade with nine mana worth of two twos that's I, like i would say probably super it's the only one who doesn't have like yeah. small tokens yeah and even but... then like there's just some random spawn cards that are pretty good so maybe it could yeah. get a buff i um so my deck was like green white mid range and it it like yeah. had some super creatures but it wasn't really a super themed deck but the, I, i'll say that like it felt better than i thought i, I thought it would to just like have a few super creatures and have a few auras like that all worked together actually pretty nicely more like better than i thought it would 
Yeah. And so that was cool to see. The, the other card, I think it's a bit too weak. It's Poltergeist. Like, Poltergeist, I think yeah. I keep, I keep for it's a bit too much. Yeah, it's kind of got this, well, it kind of has a similar weakness to, well, I don't know. It, it definitely is weak against vehicles, right? You can just like tap down the creature <laughs> to crew a vehicle. Uh, yeah. And that was in the first game. Like I was just using it in the in the uh, in the first game, basically for the plus two plus two on my flyer. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, what else? What else? Yeah. I I do agree though. It like f- feels a little lackluster. It's just like a lot of mana to spend, and then maybe it does something. Yeah. So maybe exactly. I want to buff this card a little bit. Um, let's see. Oh. In that match, I... Hungry Luma was nice to be able to steal, steal things. Yeah, uh, yeah. That credits warp countering Rosalina was nice. Yeah, credits warp is definitely a strong card. For but it's not OP, so yeah. I think it's fine for architect yeah, to too. have yeah. like those strong cards. It's strong, like, but it doesn't player. provide any like permanent types of its own so you yeah, really need to exactly. like it has a lot of deck building constraints building yeah it, so. so i'm fine with that i yeah. couldn't play snatch I, I had it in my deck and i i think um so let's see top secret area in the two matches that i just played it was able to like i think once it missed and the other time i actually had a choice and it was like a very relevant choice and hmm. uh like that time, it felt very strong. The time when I had a choice, but the time that it missed, it just kind of did nothing. So, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's. I think I, I was putting this the power level of this ability as Scry One, and I think that's. I think that's pretty accurate. It's like Scry One and an untapped, like strictly yeah. better than Forest Land, which is maybe not something Wizards would print, but uh, I think I think the power level of it in this cube is is totally fine, and it's like yeah. a nice a nice way to smooth out some of those draws. Cool, man. Yeah, someday, someday we'll see puzzle level. Sorry. Draw cards that I didn't nearly get. Mm. I just got Net Whisper and Ghost when Rider. I was at four. Yeah. But like Ghost Writing and Snatch, I couldn't play them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, going five colors, that is, you know, kind of one of the risks. Yeah. That's, exactly. That's happens sometimes, but. All right, well, thanks for the games. That was that was fun. <laughs> Definitely yeah, some really wacky fun. stuff going on. I, yeah, I, GG's. I wanted to. I was so happy to to be able to to try this deck. Yeah. In draft. I, someday, I, I really would love to to try and make puzzle level yeah. work. It, kind of a lot has to come together just right, I think. But yeah, it looks but really like, fun. Like if if you get it too late in the packs, it just not worth yeah. it. Yeah. Most of the time. And like even when you get it first pick, it doesn't it isn't worth it, but at least it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 interesting. I I don't know how to I don't know how to draft it yet, but I, I think it's worth figuring out just, mm-hmm. just to have just to have that I like that card being in the set is just like this secret quest of like can you be the first one to win with this card? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Well thanks well, for the games. GG's. GG's. And once again, for everyone watching, if you do want to install this and try it out for yourself, there's a link in the video description to the document that describes how to install it, where to find the Discord, where you can play against other people. <laughs> Welcome back. CP8LCT. I don't need... Thank you. Thank you for subbing. I am live streaming all this. I'm play, t- play testing against viewers. That's what I've been doing. So uh, if you're interested in that, twitch.tv slash deathbling or twitter.com slash deathbling if you want to know when I'm going live. Thanks for watching.